Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about all the equipment and the editing software that I use to create my YouTube videos. So if you're planning to start your own YouTube channel or if you're just curious about what I use behind the scenes, this video is for you and with that, let's get started. The first thing that we're going to be talking about in this video is the camera. The camera that I use to film all my YouTube videos is my mobile phone's camera. Most smartphone cameras today are good enough for beginners to start filming and take pictures. Investing in a DSLR quite early on could be quite difficult and that's why I suggest that you start off with what you have. I've been using my mobile phone to film all my videos for over a year now and surely it's not as good as a DSLR but it does do the job for me. Moving on to the tripod, the tripod that I use is the Amazon Basics 50 inch tripod. This tripod retails for around 800 rupees and although this is a bit out of budget for beginners, especially if you're a student, uh, this is a very durable tripod and will serve as a long term investment. There are obviously a lot more tripods out there for lower prices at around 300 to 400 rupees but I would rather prefer a durable product than a low cost product that will probably break in a few months. Also, only recently did I invest in a Gorilla tripod. This Gorilla tripod costed me around 350 rupees and I find it a lot easier to shoot with a Gorilla tripod than the Amazon Basics tripod. If you ask me which one is a better investment for a beginner, is it the Gorilla tripod or the Amazon Basics tripod? I would say go for the Gorilla tripod because it's a lot more easier to shoot with a Gorilla tripod and it's also a lot more cost effective. The Gorilla tripod is more useful if you are going for vlog style videos but in case you're making videos where you just sit down and speak to the camera then the Amazon Basics tripod is a lot more useful but um, I think you should do your own set of research and see what might work the best for you before investing in a tripod. Now I'm sure that investing in a tripod quite early on is quite difficult especially because you're not sure if you want to continue making videos on YouTube and for the same reason I haven't invested in a tripod until 5 months after starting out on YouTube and so I'll be showing you how you can film without a tripod and how I did it. To film your videos, you'll need a couple of books and a pen stand. First, pack a few books according to what height you require and then go ahead and place the pen stand over the books. Drop your phone amongst the pens in the pen stand and add or remove a few items in the pen stand as per the angle you require. This could be a little time consuming in the beginning but once you get a hang of it, it will be easy. Moving on to the lighting, lighting has to be one of the most important aspects of your videos. Good lighting even with a not so good camera can make your videos look a whole lot better. At this point, I don't own any artificial lighting equipment although I do plan to invest in some equipment in a couple of months. I have a huge window in my room that acts as a light source. Along with the window, I also use my tube light in case I need a little more brightness. I try filming all my videos in the morning and the afternoon to make use of natural lighting as much as possible. The next thing that we're going to be talking about is the audio. When I started out making videos on YouTube, I used my headphones which had an inbuilt mic to record all my voiceovers. But you can use any basic earphones that has an inbuilt mic to record your voiceovers for your videos. A few months into YouTube, I invested in a Boya mic. This mic costed around 800 rupees and the audio quality is decent for the price and there's also minimal background noise. I'll link all the equipment I use in the description box below. Moving on to the editing software, the software that I use to edit all my videos is Wondershare Filmora. This is the software that I have been using ever since I started uploading on my YouTube channel. This is the only software that I use so I'm not really sure about all the other softwares out there. This software is pretty easy to use and understand. It's also pretty affordable according to me. I do plan to show you how to edit videos using this software in the future. And that's about this video. I really hope that you found this video informational and helpful. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Also, I will leave the links to all the equipment that I use in the description box below. Until the next video, bye.